Hello everybody, welcome back once again. I've got another uh, Triangle Strategy character guide for you. Uh, so this time we are talking Izana. Uh, Izana is uh, some, sometimes a fun character. Uh, and, uh, you know, though honestly one of my least favorite mages. Uh, you know, my mage order goes best Corentin, Frederica, then Izana, then Narvlast. Um... And it's really because of her uh, inability to kind of keep herself going. Uh, she does require somebody else to give it, to be giving her TP. Otherwise, she bottoms out, and then you know, you're just standing around, basically. So, uh, as far as accessories, uh, I usually like to give her some speed, and then I actually have the Vanguard scarf on her right now, so that she acts first. Um, I'll show you why here in a little bit, but um, her speed is actually at 25, so she's not like the slowest character in the game, but uh, she's you know, not particularly fast either, so uh, speeding her up a bit, I feel like, kind of helps out. Um, Alright, so anyways, let's <laughs> her speed, man. I wonder if she's, like, the weakest character in the game. She very well may be, but uh, who cares? You know, you're not going to be using her for her physical attacks. Um, that's also why, though, I think that uh, a lot of times uh, archers are just kind of, like, better than her, right? Because at least with an archer, when they run out of TP, you can still use a fairly, a fairly strong attack. Uh, whereas she just can't. So archers, I feel like, are more like consistent damage, whereas, sure, Izana is very bursty. And uh, if you can get a hold of a, um, you know, a heavy or a heavily armored character, she is going to annihilate them. Um, but anyways, physical defense, <clears throat> actually, obviously, very, very low as well. Um, not as bad as some, but uh, she's, she's definitely in the lower tier, so she needs to be kept safe. Uh, otherwise, she's going to get uh, wrecked. Uh, next up is Magic Attack, as you'd expect from a caster. Her Magic Attack is pretty good, a 59. Uh, not as good as, I think, like, Fre I think Frederica probably has a little bit more, but um, she could probably use a Magic Accessory if I really wanted to give her a little bit more, you know, of a boost, but um, I, whatever, it's fine. Uh, next up is Magic Defense, you know, slightly above average. She's actually a little bit even low, in my opinion. Um when it comes to magic defense. Uh, I would have expected a little bit more out of a pure caster, but, uh, you know, unfortunately, again, a little bit low. Luck uh, doesn't matter because she's never... I mean, if you're doing critical attacks with her and using her staff, then, you know, something went wrong. Uh, really, you know, if you run... If and when you run out of TP, and I should really say it's when because you will run out of TP with her, uh, just throw some, uh, some items with her, right? Use uh, ranged ice stones, ranged fire stones, whatever it is. Uh, to keep uh, to keep actually dealing some damage, uh, accuracy again. Who cares? You shouldn't be swinging with her anyway. Uh, speed twenty seven. Again, her base is twenty five, which again we've already been over. She's you know not the slowest. She's not a twenty four, but she's also not you know particularly fast either. Uh, her, her evasion is incredibly low, uh, but you know you're not going to be evading really anything anyway. Uh, her jump is two, and then her movement is four. So standard jump, but low movement. Uh, which again, fine though as well. She's going to be hanging out in the back anyway, and you really want to keep her pretty safe. And so, um, you know, her mov movement probably doesn't really matter that much. Um, all right, so on to her abilities. Uh, she's got Rite of Lightning here. This is my favorite ability with her by far. So it says deal lightning uh, type magic damage to an enemy and have a chance to paralyze them for two turns. Effect spreads on water. Um, of all of the uh, status effects, Temptation is the best. Uh, but Paralyze is the second. Um, you know, Paralyze basically makes the enemy, or you, your characters, whoever, uh, not take any actions whatsoever. They're just stuck there. They can't move. They can't do anything. And it's slightly better than Sleep um, because, you know, a, a slept character, once you damage them, they'll wake up. You know, Sleep or a slept character can't take actions, can't move, but uh, very easy to wake up. Whereas, again, Paralyze is just slightly better than that. So the second best uh, status effect in the game, or second most devastating, however you want to say that. Uh, and Izana's rate of actually uh, paralyzing enemies is pretty good. Uh, I want to say like a 60%. Uh, we'll see here. Um, but also the effect spreads on water. Uh, there are um, a couple of levels where it's already raining, uh, where it's actually really easy to get that to happen, uh, which, you know, you'll do some minor damage to enemies, but Sometimes, also, you'll actually uh, paralyze enemies as well. Uh, and that's just by 
you know, basically electrifying the, the water, uh, there is a chance that uh, the enemies will become paralyzed as well. So, um, a, again, pretty devastating uh, status effect uh, if you can actually get it to land. Uh, right of Wind, I barely ever used this. Uh, so it says deal wind type magic damage to all enemies within range and change the direction they face. Um, I probably should have used this more often, right? It sets you up or it's, it can set you up for criticals a little bit easier, but, um, you know, I just, I found uh, paralysis to be so good that uh, it was almost always the case where I was like, well, do I turn two enemies around and deal a little bit less damage? Or do I uh, really annihilate one person and try to go for the paralyze? And the answer was really always try for the paralyze. So uh, again, that's kind of my uh, opinion between these two abilities. But um, you know, if you can really get enemies stacked up, awesome. But the problem with this though as well is, okay, well that means she's really close to enemies, and you know that can be very very dangerous as well. So um, you know, I don't, it is what it is. But uh, next up is Accursed Strike, so it says decreasing an enemy's luck for three turns if you deal damage to them. I mean, that's cool, right? Uh, reducing enemies' luck chance, I guess, is a good thing. Um, but, you know, I don't know. One, not one of the, like, most amazing uh, status effects in the game. Uh, but hey, why not, you know? Uh, just a little bit extra. Uh, right of Rain, so summon a rainstorm for five turns, extinguish squares that are set ablaze, and create puddles at random. Um... <clears throat> Uh, this is kind of a good uh, ability, uh, you know, and, it, and it, maybe it's obvious, but it pairs up pretty well with Rite of Lightning, right? You make it rain, and then you try to uh, zap people that are standing in puddles. Um, so, you know, good good combo with her. Unfortunately, though, that's expensive, right? Um, it's going to cost you two. Now, granted, there is a TP cost reduction on Rite of Rain, right, uh, eventually. And, uh, and so, you know, you'll use one, really, on Rite of Rain on one turn. And then you can try to go for the uh, the zap on the following turn. Um, otherwise, a twofold turn works as well, right? You'll use Rite of Rain and then Rite of Lightning right after, uh, as long as you've got the TP to do it. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, not a not a bad idea or not a bad ability. Very interesting, and sometimes it can you know you can really cause some havoc uh, by by doing that combo. Uh, and that actually works with Narv as well. I mean, really, actually, any, anybody as well. Like, if you have uh, ranged Thunderstones, uh, you can, you know, <laughs> as long as uh, enemies are standing in the water, you can try to uh, to get them paralyzed uh, with that. So, uh, very good ability. Uh, next up is Rite of Tempest. It says, summon a Tempest and decrease the bow accuracy of all enemies and allies for five turns. Now, I really don't like this one that much because I rely very, very heavily on archers. Uh, it was rare that I didn't have Huet with me. And the same thing with... Um, with Archibald. Now, Archibald actually does really, really well in Tempest, so uh, it's not really an issue for him, but uh, I didn't really like the idea of reducing the accuracy of, uh, of Huet. Uh, and actually, sometimes even Rudolph or Trish. And Trish, boy, uh, she really doesn't do well in a Tempest because her accuracy is pretty bad already. Um, so <clears throat> those two, you know, do not make a good uh, pair if you're going to be trying to throw around Tempest. So, um... You know, though, if you don't really like to use archers, maybe you like to use uh, um, mages more often, then Rite of Tempest makes a lot of sense, right? Um, because who cares if everybody's bow uh, accuracy is decreased if it's only enemy bowmen that are being affected by this. So uh, really, again, uh, a lot of it is going to be dependent on who you like to take with you. Um, next up is Pierce Defenses. So it says decreases an enemy's magic defense for three turns when you deal damage to them. This is fantastic. Uh, that is the exact kind of passive that you would want on a mage, or really, honestly, anybody, <laughs> anybody that would work really well, right? Um, uh, you know, it, it's just nice to be able to, to you know, you'll get a little bit more oomph out of your spells right after you've uh, dealt a little bit of damage. Uh, and then Rite of Luck is last. I think that this one's kind of interesting. I think this raises your luck by six points. Um, and this actually works really well with uh, if you're trying to steal. So like Travis and Trish, it's going to really increase their chances of actually trying to steal. Uh, I actually would, I used her a lot uh, to, to do my... Um, uh, I, I have a spreadsheet. I, I don't know if I'll have uploaded it uh, already before, before this video is out. But um, I, I basically took data on all of the enemies in the entire game, stole from everybody, and I've got it all put in a spreadsheet. Again, I'll, I'll ha I, have, I have a video made for it. 
Um, I just don't know where it's going to be at, if it's going to be after this or if I'm going to upload before. Uh, but either way, uh, you can take a look at what I found. Um, and I used, anyways, long story short, I used Rite of Luck basically to help uh, farm those, uh, those out and, and, you know, again, increase the, the steal rates of Travis and Trish. Um, so that said, um, you know, as far as stealing goes, it's usually the case that it's like, I think it's like Chapter 17. The Chapter 17 battles are the best ones to steal uh, in. And one of those definitely is the one with Lila, and Lila's got a speed bracelet. And uh, so if, when you do that battle, I definitely recommend taking Yazana uh, and using Rite of Luck to boost up. Uh, I would say specifically Travis because his steal rates are a little bit higher, uh, so I would use him. But uh, not only that, though, uh, you know, increasing everybody's luck by six is really good. Um, you know, especially like somebody like a Sarah Noah already has an amazing luck stat and to boost it even higher uh, means he's going to be critting even more often um, you know so very 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 good ability actually and the other great thing about this is if you're if you're just trying to level which I don't know you're probably pretty close to 50 though right once you finally get right of luck um, but it's great as just kind of a filler ability like oh, I have I have really nothing else to do okay well let's use right of luck and uh, you know, get yourself a little bit of uh, extra experience just because of that. Uh, last up here is Rite of Thunderstorms. I want to like this ability, um, but it just isn't very good. Uh, it says, cast for one turn, dealing lightning-type magic damage to all enemies and have a chance to paralyze them for one turn. Um, the problem is that this misses all the time. It's, I mean, I don't know if it's, a, if it's land rate is like 1 in 10, but it feels about that bad. Uh, so... You know, the like at the beginning of battles, it probably makes the most sense to use this, right? Because there's a lot of targets to choose from. But as the as the uh, the battle winds down and there's less and less targets, it becomes less and less likely that you're going to actually hit somebody with this. So um, again, you know, right off the jump, sure, go ahead, maybe give that a rip. But uh, as the battle progresses, you know, progresses, uh, it becomes less useful. So. Um, all right, yeah, let's uh, let's do this. So, uh, I'll show you the the thing too. So I like the again, I like the Vanguard scarf just to start her off. Um, I'll either use a Rite of Luck right off the bat, right, just to give okay everybody uh, gets a, a luck boost immediately. Um, I'm not going to do that this time though. I'll show you the um, oops, I actually took her out. Uh, I'll show you the Rite of Thunderstorms. Uh, also, I should say in the uh, apparently in the Switch version of the game there was a bug with her and Kohog where. You could lose, <clears throat> use like stop time, and it would make thunderstorm 100% accurate. Which I'm, it's it's obvious why they they changed that. That's way too good. Um, a combo with like her, Kohog, Medina, and Yulio would be completely broken, and you'd probably annihilate everybody in like a couple of turns. So, um, all right, so let's do uh, let's do thunderstorm right off the bat. We'll just do a battle cry. Uh, again, the Vanguard Scarf makes it so that she's acting first. Uh, so we we'll just uh, start casting this. And then uh, Benedict, the combo, <clears throat> you know, because this is a char uh, thun Rite of Thunderstorms is a, a, char or a charge move. Uh, so as is always the case, either Benedict using now or you could use in tandem uh, is the way to get this to, to finish. You know, though, to be fair, um, it's not as critical... Uh, to to use this right uh, because you're you're not worried or you don't have to worry about somebody moving out of range like with uh, Frederica's Sunfall or Travis's uh, Brutal Impact or whatever that ability is that he's got um, you know this is going to hit no matter where the enemies are at so it's not really that important to move her turn up um, so you know you can just kind of let her go but there I actually got two of them. Um, and actually did get uh, get the uh, get the proc on the accursed strike right. So now those enemies that I actually did hit have uh, reduced. Was it magic defense? Um, but you can see, yeah, I only I only hit two, which actually is kind of surprising. That's actually uh, there's probably only there about ten no enemies on the map right now, right? So um, two out of ten actually would be about a twenty percent. Yeah, I don't know. This is about this is about ten enemies, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, there's nine. So yeah, that's, I mean, two out of nine. Eh. I mean, it's also five uh, TP, though, so, you know, questionable whether or not that's actually useful. 
Um, I'm gonna retreat once here and then just show you the um, uh, the, the the abilities that I actually like to use. Because again, I don't I don't really like to use uh, right of thunderstorms. It's just too too uh, TP intense to to really be worth it. Uh, actually, the damage is surprisingly low on it as well. If you notice, there she wasn't really now. doing that much damage. But uh, all right, so I'll move up here. Uh, again, I like to use uh, uh, Right of Lightning. Uh, you can see there a 60% paralysis chance. That's the same as uh, like Rudolph trying to trying to sleep a target, right? And this is actually, uh, or paralysis in my opinion is a lot more devastating, right? Because you can just keep smoking the guy even though they're, they're, they're paralyzed and it won't like you know, wake them up like it would with sleep. So, um, I mean, I don't know that. Yeah, of course that didn't work, but um, let's do uh, let's do a now and then. She'll get her turn back, and I'll try it again. True power. Um, and so now that it's missing some, uh, or now that it's got a reduced, you know, magic defense, this should do a little bit more damage. And <laughs> still didn't get him paralyzed, which is, you know, that's not likely in a, in a normal battle. You know, if you've got two pass on somebody, uh, you should have, or that, that should have at least triggered the paralysis at least once, but, you know. That's uh, that's luck or the lack of luck, I guess. There is no mercy on the battle. But uh, yeah, and also you know she does annihilate. I mean that 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 took a big chunk out of that guy. So you know really uh, almost anybody can just finish that guy off. So um, pretty pretty good stuff. But all right, let's retreat here and then we'll go take a look at um, we'll take a look at the uh, the weapon abilities for Izana. Um, I, I'm temp tempted to show the like the you know w when you make it rain, but you know, I, get, I think you get the idea, right? Uh, make it rain, then it makes puddles, and then sometimes... The only problem, though, as well, that I don't really like about this game is that when you do use rain and it, and it does make the puddles, they're random. Um, again, maybe it would be too overpowered, right, if you could target where the puddles are at, right? But, um, I don't know. You know, it, it makes it it makes it so that sometimes that, that that's not that great, right? And you can't really count on it. Uh, and so that... I think takes takes its useful down by, uh, usefulness down by quite a bit. All right, anyways, yeah, let's take a look at her uh, weapon abilities here, if I can find her. Am I blind? I'm blind, aren't I? Um, God, it's, usually, yeah, it's, her, it's her staff that I always look for, right? Because it looks like it's like a dream catcher, kind of, or like a half dream catcher, which looks kind of cool, actually. <laughs> All right. Uh, so she's got a potency increase here. She's got HP. Uh, and then she's got uh, <clears throat> increases lightning damage dealt during a rainstorm. So that's actually another reason to use, you know, the right of rain first. Uh, and then she's got raging winds, wind damage up. So it increases wind damage dealt during a tempest, which again, I never really use tempest. So uh, I never really, uh, you know, found that useful. Uh, but then she's got the physical de uh, defense up. Uh, I would probably start with the potency first, um, just because... Uh, this is going to affect her potency no matter what. Uh, then I would go with the lightning damage up. Then I'd probably go the defense, then the HP, and then finish up with the raging winds. But again, that's personal preference for me because I didn't really like to use the, the wind spell. Uh, next up, she's got a potency increase. She's got a magic up. Uh, right of rain TP reduction, then right of tempest TP reduction, uh, then the physical defense up too. Uh, I would start with the, the Rite of Rain uh, reduction, uh, just so that, you know, Rite of Rain will only cost the one TP. Uh, then I would probably go with the Potency Increase, then the Magic uh, up, uh, then the Physical Defense, and Rite of Tempest TP cost reduction last. And again, that's just because I don't really like to use that ability. Uh, I rely a lot on archers, and so making my own archers... Uh, accuracy, well, reducing my own archer's accuracy is not the way to go for me. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, last up here, I would go with the magic up and not the, the right of thunderstorms, just because, again, I don't really like this ability. Uh, it's it's just not good enough. Uh, I, you know, if it was more accurate, you know, then I would use it, but also maybe that would be, you know, overpowered, right? Um, because you, you would just probably funnel a ton of TP into her using, like, Yulio and Medina. And just kind of, you know, sit back in one spot and nuke over and over and over. But um, that's that's my opinion, uh, is I would go with the, the magic attack. Because probably 90% of the time I'm using um, her Rite of Thunderstorm. So, 
Um, anyways, that is it really with Izana. There isn't much more to her. Um, I, I will say though that, you know, she unfortunately is one of the, in, again, in my opinion, the two worst mages in the game. It's her and Narv. And, and, but specifically though, because she needs support in order to keep her going. Um, eventually she will bottom out on TP and you'll just have to stand around for a turn or, you know, throw an item and have to rely on, you know, items, which I don't really love. Um, you know, and, and so much of my uh, characters are, are built around or, or, or so, so many of the battles I like or, or am in, I found I like to use Archibald. And so, you know, the support for her is reduced because it's going to somebody else that can you know, outrange her basically. So, um, unfortunately, I, I I still did use her uh, here and there. But uh, again, the the kind of the the need for a support character uh, reduces her effectiveness, in my opinion. But, anyways, that is going to be it for Izana. As always, hope the guide was helpful, and thank you for watching.